And at the top, as the coronavirus numbers in the coastal bend continue to go up, top officials in charge of controlling the spread are warning the public to protect themselves and others if they plan on leaving home during this holiday weekend. New Essex County did report one additional death today. That makes 10. And the daily increases in New Essex County are still unacceptably high in terms of the positive cases. 254 here over the past 24 hours. And there are projections of much higher numbers unless all of us are willing to do what is necessary to stop it. Our Taylor on these tonight fleshes out the latest information in this top story. We're trying to minimize the exposure and, and try to uh, get control of the uh, continued uh, expansion of this COVID. Today was a... The warning from Mayor Joe McComb before the holiday weekend on Thursday. 24 hours since then, Nuestas County saw 254 new positive cases of COVID-19. The record coming Wednesday at 362 cases. As of Friday, the number of people who have died, 10. 258 hospitalized and 68 in the ICU. Um, the hospitals are experiencing a surge. I describe it like a rising tide right now of more and more patients in the hospital have COVID-19, more and more people in the ICU. Researchers at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi have been looking at cell phone data to see if people in the coastal bend are social distancing. Their findings showing public social interactions have gone down from the previous week. People are responding um, to the, the emergency that we're in right now, and they're decreasing the amount of encounters that they have. Earlier in the week, Governor Abbott shut down Texas his bars, but kept other businesses open. We must do more to slow the spread without locking Texas back down. And on Thursday, this announcement. I am issuing a face covering requirement for all counties with more than 20 COVID cases. Judge Barbara Canales echoing the governor's message by limiting access to public beaches, hoping people stay home over the 4th of July weekend. The men and women who founded this great country made great sacrifices, and we all cherish personal liberty. Judge Canales says now it's our turn to sacrifice to protect one another. Taylor Alanis, 3 News. Some additional information now on the county's 10th fatality. The patient was said to be a woman between the ages of 60 and 69 who had been hospitalized in late June. Here's the thing, she had no major underlying health issues except for high blood pressure.